morning everyone. A little bit inclement weather today but that's what happens when you go camping. Today I'm going to show you inside the camper so come along with me. Up the three step ladder. I've got the handle as Noel showed you before. We've got a great space in here. This is why we called it a tailgate camper. Fantastic space. Noel called it space for free. Um, I'm going to start with the drawer here. This is two drawers, two plastic drawers. Uh, they come fully out. Fantastic for me because when I'm standing outside, I can actually grab stuff out of my drawer quite easily. Uh, the next is the uh, little table here. This is actually an option, but a fantastic option and one of our very popular options. Uh, we use that quite a lot in inclement weather. We like to camp outside predominantly, but when we come inside, oh boy, is this, is this area absolutely fantastic with the flies or uh, the rain. Uh, just to get out of that weather occasionally is lovely. Wind. Uh, talking about the weather, we can they've got an area here which can actually have a diesel heater. This model doesn't have it, but we'll show you that at some stage, and that makes this even more comfortable. This is predominantly the luggage area, and it's an inside-outside, so there's a little hatch here. You can put your luggage in, put your luggage out. Uh, inside here, we use this, built this particularly for the inside toilet. Uh, it can be used for other things also, for your linen, for your shoes, other things. We've got a ladder here. This is a simple two-step ladder that fits like that. I'm actually going to take you up into the bed now, so come with me. So you can see in the bed area that there is a wonderful lined roof. It's got insulation in there as well. Very, very comfortable. It has the fan. These are two options that you can have. So this fan can turn right around for while you're sitting in your tailgate area or it can turn for when you're asleep. It's, um, and it also swivels one way or the other if one of you prefer to have that wind on you or not. And then it just tucks up nicely into the roof area there. You can also see two lights on either side of the bed there and they turn swivel like so anywhere you like and they can turn on and off as well for you for reading. We've got a lovely area here at the back that's not a standard area uh, but uh, if you choose not to have a full queen size mattress which is standard in this camper you can have this area as you can see I've got a water bottle here great little space for the bits and pieces you want. Uh, water bottles, books, tissues. Um, oh, there's Noel's book. Good on you, Noel. It's your birthday present, I think. Okay, so, uh, lovely, a uh, huge big area. Noel specifically designed this with his um, son-in-law originally, who is six foot one, I think, six foot one six foot two, nice and tall. So when we designed this roof, we had tall people in mind so that you can easily lie down in bed and then sit up um, in, in comfort. So there's absolutely plenty of room. Sometimes when you look in, it doesn't look as roomy as it is, but we've tested on plenty of tall people and it is fantastic space to lie in and then to sit up. And we're lucky today because we've got a beautiful view of our creek out here. And I, I do have to admit that I always asked Noel to make sure that I've got a view, good view out of my bedroom window. That's about it for now. Um, we will show you the dual cab camper next and some of the other features of our campers.